I got to set the stage for this one a little bit before I drop the pro tip slash value bomb. Um, Performance Max is pretty cool. And we're seeing a lot of um, a lot of success with it in the e-commerce space specifically. Rough on lead gen, great on e-com. However, it's very, very greedy and it reaches with both hands and it steals from other campaigns, especially brand campaigns, which is very frustrating because you want to be able to control where you're spending on brand and preferably in many cases, reserve budget, performance max budget for <laughs> maximizing performance. We'll take care of brand Google. Thank you. So that's been difficult um, to contend with until now. So first of all, shout out to Caden in the client management department here at Solutions 8. Uh, he came up with this, just dropped it in Slack and I thought it was absolutely brilliant and and simple, brilliant in its simplicity. Um, and I'll also just mention real quick that Caden came from YouTube. Caden was a, 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 a part of our YouTube channel. He was constantly watching and commenting and stalking. And um, now he's working with us, which is, which is amazing. And he's a rock star, really, really brilliant guy. I'm super proud to have him on the board. And uh, he in, in Slack just dropped in. In theory, couldn't we just add a bunch of exact match to brand campaigns as a way of adding negatives to Performance Max? Which is absolutely true. If you think about the, the campaign structure, which I shared in a separate video, uh, Google revealed how Performance Max is going to interact with other campaigns. And when Performance Max goes up against a search campaign, meaning the eligibility of the, the, the um, each campaign is, is valid, so they kind of cross over in the, in the Venn diagram, the search campaign with an exact match key phrase is going to give an, be given preferential treatment. So the search campaign wins, basically. So if Performance, performance Max is stealing your brand, then make sure that your brand is um, a exact match, which I have to imagine it probably already is. But then B, make sure that the, the, the settings are aligned with whatever it is that you're pushing across from a performance max perspective. And your exact match search campaign can steal back or block the performance max uh, campaign from stealing all your brand. Now, that means you have to, that means you have to spend adequately in that brand campaign, which I imagine you're probably doing or getting close to doing anyway. So there's, you know, a ceiling as to how much you're going to be able to pr protect depending on how much you want to you want to spend to do so. Um, but if Performance Max is, is you know, uh, brand jacking, then this is a really, I think, very simple and, and super strategic way to get around it. Um, I, I'd be really interested in y'all's experience with Performance Max. It's It's been it's been hit or miss for us, um, but what we're starting to see is the line of demarcation is e-com and lead gen. Uh, E-commerce, especially where Google can go see actual value uh, and result works out really well. Lead gen, not so much yet. And and I think that we could maybe potentially do a little bit more in terms of, you know, adding uh, values to our leads or, um, you know, maybe longer term, let's say, if Google were able to see, um, you know, post-click offline conversions, those types of things, maybe it, it improves. But it's just, it's such an aggressive campaign type that it's hard to do that. It's hard to give it the time that it would need um, with with the the data augmentation. So... Um, I'd be really interested in anybody else who's, you know, figured performance max, performance max out. It's, it's, we've kind of have that code cracked in uh, e-com. In the lead gen space, it's making it rain leads, but they're, the, the lead quality is, is horrible, to be honest with you. It's all over the place. Um, I'm not going to stop testing it, obviously, because I really think there's a lot of viability here, but I want to know what other people are doing. So if you have pro tips for me, you know, et cetera, drop them in the chat. Um, and if you want to be on the channel, I'd love to have some guests on. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.